Hey again, um, it's Mary with Blue Dane Vintage. I sent my son to the store, so I thought I would take this time that I'm alone in the house to do another haul video. Um, I don't know why I don't feel like I can... I get nervous when there's other people in the house when I'm making a video, but it's okay. Um, anyway, this is part two of a bins haul. I did the clothing uh, last time, and then I got a bunch of hard goods too, and as I said before, I paid way too much. I just went crazy and filled up my cart as if everything was free, but it, it's not. And then I get to the checkout and I'm like, holy crap. Anyways, I got some fun stuff anyway to, to uh, try to flip on eBay and other platforms. So I'm going to show them to you right now. And the first one, I've got a bag full of plush uh, stuffed animals and stuff. And the first one is this vintage Goofy, baby Goofy. He's so cute and he is... Um, 19, 1984, I think that's what that says. He's so cute. Then we have, I don't know if anyone remembers, that the comic strip Shoe. He's that little, um, I guess he's a crow or a blackbird. He's got a little cigar in his mouth. And he can sit or whatever. And he's from, let's see if I see the year mm -hmm. I don't know it doesn't say the year but I'm thinking the 80s I don't know oh 1983 it says on the tag he's cute then we have olive oil I don't think she's she's not that old but um yeah 2017 Kelly toy probably um one of those uh what do you call it? The claw machines that you can win plush things out of. I thought she was cute. And then I could not pass this up. It's so cute. It's a little rainbow donkey. Who's it by? Fiesta. It's probably from another machine, but I just thought it was so cute and bright. I love the colors. Here's another rainbow thing. <laughs> that I couldn't pass up. It's a little unicorn with long flowy hair and a long flowy tail. And Douglas is the brand. I recently sold a, a little stuffed corgi by Douglas. He was really cute. So I thought that was fun. Then we have Dory. She's got her little, um, flippers are supposed to be attached by the string, but that came off. But I can fix that easily or just sell it as is. And that's by Ty. Very cute. Bella. My dog, Bella. Hi. She wants these, but she can't have them. Here's a cute little, this is um, by, um, it's a Scentsy Buddy. And you can put, you can unzip the back. I need to figure this out. Oh, it's got a little compartment where you can put, um, doesn't really smell anymore, little scented beads in there from Scentsy. And I thought he was cute. And then there's another one, excuse me, Bella, a little owl, same from Scentsy. Then we have, excuse me, she's trying to smell. This poster, I don't... I've picked up a few posters and I still haven't listed them just because I'm nervous to. But this one is, this was in great condition because it was in like a plastic frame thing, but the frame wasn't on it anymore. It's a, a what is that thing called from Doctor Who? I cannot remember. I'll see if I can remember it. Oh, whoa. Sorry. But it's in great condition. There's no like pinholes or, or creases or anything in it. Next is oh here we go. Um brand new Nerf and Strike. I guess it belonged to Logan. But it's never been taken out of the package. We'll see how that goes. And 
I'm going to try this. It's brand new in the plastic. This is a game called Nosh. That's the, that was the original, uh, Goodwill price, but this was at the bin, so it probably cost me less than a dollar. So we'll try and see how that goes. Um, I thought this was nice. My husband has a couple of these Bubba coffee cups, so I'll either keep this for him or I'll see how much they're going for. I haven't checked any comps yet, but it's a really good quality. And I just grabbed, I'm going to try, this is a brand new and package cassette, and I've heard those can go, can go okay. Hold on put that down. Oh, all that reflection. What is that from? What is that reflection? Oh, it's a reflection of my phone going back. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, so I'm going to try those. And I've also heard that the, the Texas instrument, uh, calculators go really well. The Texas instrument TI 80. I need to test that and see if it even works. I'm just grabbing things just to try. I have no idea. And I thought this was cool. It's a Star Wars um, CD or DVD holder. Like, I don't know. Do people, do people use CDs and DVDs anymore? I don't know. I try to sell them. And, oh, I thought that was cute. I got this for me. I thought it was really cute. Kelly Ray Roberts collection. Just a little wall hanging. And I'm also trying uh, remotes. I don't know. I need my husband's help to test things like this, just to see how they how they go. And oh, for me, some colored lights. <laughs> They're brand new in the box. And here is a tallest tree stacking blocks. They're like um, educational blocks, and everything's in there. And they're in really good condition. So we're going to try those. And then here's a little vintage push and go. Does it even work? Oh gosh, what did I do? Um, I could test that out. And it's from mm -hmm, 1975. I can never resist. Vintage is my first love, so I can't resist picking up vintage stuff. And here is a vintage Mattel Jack in the Box. There he is. Kind of scary, but cute. Kind of remember that. Um, and I can't pass up things from Gravity Falls. That's, um, I forget the little girl's name on Gravity Falls. So I just grabbed that not to sell just for my son likes that kind of stuff. So I might, he might like that. And whoa. again, trying things that I have no idea about, but they're just so cheap there. Should I even show this? It's just an old, like an old school. It's not a boom box, but just a, a tape recorder and radio. So I'll test it and see. I don't even know what what year it is, but um, I don't know. Maybe somebody will want that. We'll see. And then another electronics item that I wasn't sure what it was at first, but then I saw this and I go, oh, that's for eight track tapes. So we'll see if that even works. It, there's no plug for it. I don't have the cord, but there is a battery compartment so I can put some batteries in there and try it out. I don't even know how it works. It might just break. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I couldn't pass up a Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince CD. Originally somewhere that was eight fifty, So it probably cost me a quarter. We'll see how that goes. And then a Leap Leap TV uh, game works with Leap TV. I don't know. My son used to have a one of those Leap Leap Pad thingies when he was little. He's not little anymore. And then I don't know why I pick up VHS. It doesn't go for much. It doesn't go very often. But I just can't pass it up. All the all the 
fun movies that I grew up with and in the 80s and 90s and even the 70s. So I'll show you all of these that I got. I, I don't know why. They're not big money makers at all. Of course, Animal House. This was this one is brand new sealed. We have The Falcon and the Snowman, starring Sean Penn and Timothy Hutton. Wayne's World. That's a classic. I know most of these are available on CD, but I, I think a lot of people are going back to VHS just out of nostalgia. Um, here's an, an old Esther Williams, Skirts Ahoy, from 1952 was the movie, it was the movie year. And uh, Mad Max with Mel Gibson. Excalibur, forged by a god, foretold by a wizard, found by a king. And that is starring, who star, who's the star in there? It doesn't, I don't think it has any big names. Nigel Terry, I don't know, Nicole Williamson, Helen Mirren, you know who she is. Yeah. And we have the original MASH movie starring Donald Sutherland and Elliot Gould and Tom Skerritt and Lady Hawk. I loved this movie with um, Matthew Broderick and um, Michelle Pfeiffer, one of her early ones. And then a Disney classic animated. I love these. The cover is pretty in bad condition. So this probably is not going to be found on CD. Or I mean on DVD. So somebody might like that. But I had those in their childhood. Um, and Schwarzenegger Commando. Five Card Stud with Dean Martin and Robert Mitchum. I love those classics. I love Dean Martin. Space Hunter with Peter Strauss, is that what it says? Oh, Molly Ringwald, yeah. One of the Brat Pack. And Mel and Goldie in Bird on a Wire. That's a fun one. And then Michael J. Fox, Secret of My Success. Yeah, we'll see how those do. I have a bazillion to list as it is that I haven't listed yet, so I need to get on that. And then, Sorry, I've got my bags back here. Oh my gosh, more VHS. Holy crap. Okay, we'll go to this first. I got this Uno Wild Tiles game. It's complete. It's from 1982. Can never pass up vintage stuff, like I said. And then Yahtzee score pads more vintage paper ephemera which I absolutely love and I have bins and bins of vintage paper ephemera someday to make paper packs to sell for like people that like to collage or do junk journals that kind of thing um what else? let's see oh and another there's another tape brand new in package gosh more VHS oh my gosh so we have Prehysteria. I don't know who that kid is, but it's a full length live action feature. And Clerks, which actually I've never seen, so I might just go ahead and watch this one. Um, Polly Shore in the Army now. <laughs> Major League. With Charlie Sheen, Corbin Burnson, and Tom Berenger. I Love Lucy, which I'm sure is also on, on DVD. But I love I love Lucy. Here is Dragons, Fire and Ice. It's animated. Never heard of it, but it looked interesting. Um, Alice in Wonderland. 
I don't know who the stars are in this, but it's, um, it says Hallmark, Hallmark Entertainment. I don't know. I've never seen that version of it. What else? Oh, I found a bunch of Third Rock from the Sun DVDs. So I've got season one, season three, season four, season two. So I have season one through four. And then um, Game of Thrones DVDs. And they're all in there, I checked. So we'll see what that, I know all those shows are on. Netflix and stuff. So we'll see how those go. Uh, what else? Another VHS, the Goofy movie. I haven't seen that one very often. I'll, you know, a lot of the other classics are like a dime a dozen, but we'll see. Um, and then I have the best of friends. I have another one of these. This is volume two. I'm not sure which one I have, but I might combine these two together once I see what the other one I have is. Here is the Save the Last Dance with Julia Stiles and Sean Patrick Thomas um, and another Leapfrog Leap TV and more cassette tapes brand new package we have the Madonna Immaculate collection I don't know if I'm gonna keep that and listen to it in the car or Try to resell it or do both. And this is a DVD of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And we'll try this one. Cars, Mater's Tall, Mater's, Cars Tune, Mater's Tall Tales for We. I didn't check comps on that, but we'll see. Um, and nothing, nothing else really. Oh, and here's a Stephen King book on tape, The Wastelands. We'll see how that goes. And then last but not least, I, I spotted this kind of on the way out again, and I couldn't resist it, but it's a blow mold, a vintage blow mold um, jack-o'-lantern bucket, which I love. I have several of these that I keep on my porch for Halloween, and I might keep this. I might sell it. I don't know. So, yeah. That's everything, and thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff and you want to, you know, see if I get any better at this. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.